the reason I'm making this video is because I'm scrolling through TikTok, right? And then I come across this story. I don't know if you guys heard it. About this kid that was beaten to death. That was elbow that was actually he was actually in the hospital for two weeks and he died after that. But he was actually jumped by 15 kids, 15 kids in Las Vegas, you know, in the Las Vegas um, high school, uh, something called Rancho, uh, you know, the name of the, the kid, his name was Jonathan Lewis. And, uh, you know, may he rest in peace, you know, and, and the reason I decided to do this video is because I'm like, when is this going to stop? We're here, you know, the whole world is uh, concerned about this person said that about, you know, and it's like, there's, we have a lot of serious issues here in this world. A lot of serious issues, you know, I have mentioned it before in my prior videos about parenthood and bringing up your kid, you know, to, to be a good uh, member of society, you know, and you know, what happened to that kid, you know, it's a disgrace. All because he, he went in to defend uh, his friend who was being picked on. I don't know the details, but he went in to defend his kid, his friend for, from being picked on. You know, and not only, he was jumped. He was jumped by 15 people, you know. And I'm thinking to myself, 15 kids. And I'm thinking to myself, what about the parents who raised these kids? Why are these kids acting like this? You know, it's like, what is this world coming to? You know, what about the parents? You know, this is a reflection of the parents. I'm like, where are the parents? Where are the parents from these kids? You know, it's like, it makes me so mad because I have a son. You know, I have a son and I always tell him, hey, you know, if somebody's bothering you at school, let me know. Do not stay quiet. You know, let me know so I could take care of it by going to the school, doing whatever I have to do to make sure that you're safe. You know, and I do tell my son, you know, if you know, if you need to defend yourself, defend yourself. You know what I mean? You know, what happened to the, not to say that crime or a violence is good in any way, you know what I mean? But I mean, come on, 15 kids, you know, like, and they, they, uh, they ended up, you know, this kid ended up dying two weeks later because he just couldn't hold on, you know? And it's like, and it's crazy because I'm like, here, where are the influencers talking about this? You know, we are so concerned about showing our, I'm going to say it. Showing our ass and our boobs and all this, you know, and you have all these followers, 14 million followers or 5 million or whoever the hell, who, what matters? Why don't you do use your influence to do something good in this world? You know, you know, it's like, it's just, just upsets me, upsets me because people you know, they, they have their minds twisted, you know, they have their, you know, their, their priorities are set, you know, wrong. And it's like their focus is on something else, you know, while this whole society is going on hell, you know, when is it going to stop? You know, it's like, it's just sad. It's sad because I have a son, you know, and I tell him, Hey, you know, do your best. If somebody is bothering you, tell, you know, your teacher, tell an adult. Tell someone, but if nobody's listening to you, then I do give you permission to defend yourself. But I mean, come on, you know, 15 people jumping a person. I don't promote violence or any way, you know, I only say to defend yourself. But in reality, you're not 15 kids and you're thinking, where are the parents? This has to be, you know, it's not only the kid's fault. It's also the parents, whoever brought them up, whoever raised them, who raised his kids. I'm serious. They need to be held. Every single one of them has to be held accountable for what they did to that kid, you know, because that is not right. 
It is not right that they feel that you could just go about being rude, being violent, and you're not going to suffer the consequences. That's not how the world works, you know. And I hope and I do plead for justice for that kid. You know, I do plead for justice because it wasn't right what he, that what was done to him. It wasn't at all. And and I'm thinking, well, what about the high school? Where's the security? You know, it's like, where's the security? I'm like, in my high school, you know, it's like, um, you know, I see, you know, uh, in my kid's school, I see, you know, parents that are, you know, that I do thank them, um, you know, because for their service, you know, because they're out there, you know, looking after our kids. It's called the safe passageway. And I'm like, don't they have that implemented in that high school? I mean, I'm like, why? What, why did they allow that to happen? You know, where are the grown-ups in this picture? Where is the security in this picture? Where are the parents? It's just so uh, frustrating, and I'm just mad. I'm mad, and, and I'm mad because, and not only mad, but I'm also, you know, sad, and, and, you know, for this family, you know, what they're going through. They had to, they, they, they lost a child, you know, and, and a gr- really gruesome way. And all because some kids were not raised right. Because some kids are, something's wrong here. Something's either, something's missing in their lives. And they're trying to, or they need some anger. I don't know what it is. But those kids need, kids need help. They definitely need help. And and it's just sad to to see that what this world is becoming to. And not only that, but... You know, society is just so focused on the wrong things. So focused about giving likes and making other, you know, you know, it's like what it is, is that we need to focus on what's really important in this world, you know, and we're just, we're not doing it. We're just not. And the only thing I, I got to say is, God, please protect us. That's all I got to say. Jesus, God, please protect us. Be blessed. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Thanks for watching our content. We love you so much. Now, a teenager in Las Vegas died from injuries he received earlier this month when he was beaten by a mob outside the high school, the boy's father says. Jonathan Lewis Jr., 17, was involved in a physical altercation with approximately 15 individuals a short distance from Rancho High School on November 1st, according to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department. When officers arrived, Jonathan was unconscious and school staffers were performing CPR. Emergency responders rushed him to the nearby hospital where he later died. The teen's father, Jonathan Lavisa, said the son was attacked after he jumped in to help his friend, a smaller boy who had something stolen from him by the group and was thrown into a trash can. The Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department's homicide unit is handling the case. On Tuesday, the department did not answer whether any suspects had been identified identified or arrested. Videos of the incident saturated online and show the teen on the ground as he is being kicked and punched in a large brawl. Other teens stand to the side and can be seen filming with their cell phones. 